Create a sense of urgency and desperation. The death ground strategy. Forced into a corner with no other options left but the fight, you will use every resource available, every last bit of energy, every tool at your disposal to break through any resistance. The man who has everything to lose is the most dangerous of them all. The no return tactic. In 1518, Hernán Cortés planned to conquer Mexico by defeating half a million Aztec warriors with a mere 500 soldiers. Cortés had all ships destroyed. If his men would ever want to return to Cuba, the only way home was to survive through countless gruesome and intense battles. Even though grossly outnumbered, they slaughtered their way into the heart of the Aztec's empire by becoming one concentrated mighty force, which previously had had divided interests. Gold, family, retreat, anything but facing a war tribe known for their barbaric brutality. Once they found themselves on death ground, the reality and the seriousness of the situation were slowly beginning to sink in. After two years of warfare, Cortés and his men emerged victorious. Keys to Warfare Run with Plan A until the end. There is no Plan B. Plan A has to work. There is no other option. There is no such thing as perfect preparation. Stop wasting time. Start somewhere and start now. You learn to fly while falling towards the ground, not studying air temperatures from the comfort of your nest. And make no mistake, it is you against the whole world. Rely only on yourself. Pair strong self-belief with distrust in other people's aid. Patience and tranquility will lead to your demise. You either chose the death ground strategy or you were forced into the situation. Which way it happened does not matter. This is not the time for feelings. This is the time to fight and give it all you've got. You keep going until you achieve victory. And never forget, there's dire consequences in case of failure. It is called the death ground because it's a game of high stakes. Cortes men would have perished far away from home. They faced the reality of their predicament every living second, literally. They could have killed Cortes to satisfy their anger, but they depended on him to lead the way. If your army can do without you, and you decide to forcibly put them in such harsh conditions, you shouldn't be surprised to find yourself the victim of a revolt. Reversal. This strategy, even with much lower stakes than losing one's life, is not for the weak-minded. It is highly demanding. Make it out on the other side and you will earn the reward. But fail and you must suffer the consequences. There are serious repercussions. This is the real reversal in my eyes. People who get on a high and make impulsive decisions in their lives without any risk assessment or risk prevention. The very same people who have the wrong expectations, who believe themselves invincible and therefore foolishly look forward to a walk in the park, only to find out they have been deluding themselves and thus in retrospect destroying their whole life in a heartbeat. Be very careful when you calculate your odds and decide to go all in. Many a poker player has lost a grave amount of money through overconfidence. The reversal in the book is just as historically relevant. Let me repeat. The man who has everything to lose is the most dangerous of them all. Whoever is on death ground gets the opportunity to use the highly motivating effect of this strategy for their own benefit. Therefore, at all costs, avoid putting your enemies on death ground, since this will work for them as much as it works for you. Hence, the statement shall be, grant your enemies a way to retreat. And considering the 50th law of power, let's add, unless you want to crush them completely. As always, thanks for watching.